Uh, hello YouTube, uh, Trey checking in again with another video. Uh, today I'll be removing the tabs on my OEM distributor cap. I do have a coil on plug kit installed on my car. Um, I picked it up from Robert Burton at Bur Burton Racing. Great kit, have no problems with it. Excellent wiring, um, does come with the coil packs if you'd like to get that. Um, I have no problems except it left behind my distributor cap. It's not a real big deal. But you can delete them. They do they do sell caps without the tabs. You can purchase them for right around fifty to seventy dollars. But I do have one laying around and I figured I'd give it a shot. See if I can use an OEM one and delete it. See if I can get it to look um original. So with no further ado, this is my old distributor cap I had laying around for some years now. And as you can see it is broken. I have a Dremel bits. And I'm just going to give it a whack and see what I can get done with it. Plan on using this epoxy, um, either the JB Weld Clear Epoxy Clear Weld or just some epoxy that I picked up at Harbor Freight. Maybe using some of these plastic tabs to go from behind and uh, just fill it out. My, my plan is just have it rough and then come back with like a sanding bit and uh, clean it down and then maybe paint it with some, I don't know, some type of flat black paint and see if I can get this to look good. So. Bear with me and I'll get this set up and I'll start working. Okay, now here is the finished, uh, I guess the prep part. What I plan to do is uh, cut up some of this container that I have. I'm going to get some epoxy uh, put it on top of here and then I will press it on to the different sections um, I don't know if that'll work but we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens um, the theory behind that is I want to get a surface that I can mount more epoxy to and I can't put it through the air so I figure that if I have um, this plastic behind it that'll be enough to hold it when I'm ready to put more epoxy on top um, I do not know if the epoxy will melt through the plastic, let alone do I know if the epoxy will be uh, easily sanded down to make this flush. Um, I'm starting to think, well, I don't want to use Bondo. I don't know. We're just homebrew garage in this one. So we'll see what happens. I'll catch back up once I finish uh, cutting out the pieces for this and show you what I have. All right. And now. Uh, these are the two pieces that I cut out. Um, just, like I said, it's simple. Um, it'll sit inside the cap like so. And then I'll take some epoxy and I'll glue that on. And then uh, with hopes of it being a back for more epoxy. Um, we'll, we'll pick up as I mix the epoxy and we'll see what happens. All right, so I just finished putting epoxy on. This looks like it's going to be a pain to get back where it should be. However, I have faith um, that a lot of sanding and TLC will get it where it needs to be. I plan on getting a circle sander, uh, sander, bringing this down even, cleaning that up, and perhaps it'll come out looking okay. We'll see. Okay, now here we have the cap after uh, sanding it with 80 grit sand um, paper. Uh, it's definitely looking a lot more smoother. It's it's coming out better than I thought it was going to be after seeing it on the last um, the last step. Sanding it really did help it out a lot. Uh, the only problem that I'm now nervous about. I'm going forward is the epoxy. I noticed if I let the sander sit a little longer, it would start to warp and melt. Um, and being that it is inside the engine bay, um, that's a concern of mine that even once it's sanded, it's painted and all, I'm just nervous that maybe the epoxy might get loose and uh, turn into like a glue type substance and just um, lose shape. But nonetheless, um, it's coming along. I'm gonna clean it up some more and I'm gonna drop down to um, 120 next. And then I'll finish it off at 220 and then I'll get ready for priming.
okay and here is the uh, finished final sanded down version um, I've hit it with um, 80 grit first uh, 120 and now 220 after on this one um, I'm gonna go wash it off get it cleaned up a bit and then I'm gonna shoot it with uh, primer and then let that dry come back and then we'll get the final coat Let's get a light dusting on it. I'm getting there. Don't worry about the roughness. I'm focused on the fact there are no tabs on the cap. Okay, now here is the cap after I've primed it. Um, I went ahead and painted it, got a coat on there, um, came back behind it and wet sanded it. And honestly, it's looking pretty smooth. Um, I'll get this black on there and we'll, we'll see what it is. And now that we're letting the paint dry, you can see that the cap is um, clear of any holes up top as expected. Lines and stuff look fine. There are some pits in here, um, even up top. Um, I did not expect this to be perfect and it actually, in my opinion, suits well with the piece. It is just a rent, just a plastic piece so everything's fine. This really won't get much attention however it will clean up my engine bay a tad bit further. Once this finished drying I will go ahead and uh, get a picture of it or get a, show you how it looks on the car. Alright everybody, um, this is the finished product. Um, I do think it came out um, pretty good. But like I said, there are a few little imperfections in there, but it does give it an OEM, OEM type look. Uh, I'm thoroughly pleased with the end result. Oh, sorry. Uh, and if I did it again... I might do a few things a little different here and there, but in the broad scheme of it, it all came out good. So we'll see how it holds up to the heat. And if it doesn't, I'll just put the regular one back on. Thank you all for watching. Um, I'll be sure to make more videos uh, as I go and continue to work on the car. So thank you.